So now let us uh, discuss a few use cases where data science and machine learning have made a huge impact for Netflix. The first thing, uh, or the first use case, as I would say, is the personalization of movie recommendations on Netflix. So that works in the way like, say, users who watch a particular movie A are very likely to watch another movie B. Now, this is one of the most well-known features of Netflix, right? Netflix uses the watching history of other users and recommends what you might be most interested in watching. And this is what drives the business at Netflix, right? The idea behind this is Netflix is trying to engage the users and continue your monthly subscription for a longer duration of time. The second way in which Netflix uses uh, AI and machine learning is through auto generation and personalization of thumbnails. Now, thumbnails are usually images from the video or the movie that we talk about, and thousands of such images are generated and they try to identify which are the images or the thumbnails which have the most likelihood of grabbing your attention so that you click on it and you watch that particular movie. Now, all these calculations are based on the users who have similar tastes as you have, right? So if users who have similar tastes have clicked on a particular thumbnail, then those thumbnails are what will be shown to you as well. Say basically users who like certain actors or movie genres, right? They will more likely click on thumbnails which have images of those actors. Okay, so this is how, you know, a personalization of thumbnails work for Netflix. Then there is a pre-production location scouting, like say wherever you need to produce a movie or direct a movie, uh, you need to decide on a good location for the movie and you have to factor in the constraints of say scheduling for the actor, actresses, the crew members. You have to take into account the budget, the venue, the flight, the hotel costs and so on. Right. So taking all these into uh, consideration and identifying a good location for the same is also what data science helps with. This is an optimization problem and this is very, very useful in coming up with a strategy for production of the mood. Now, if we talk about something which is post production, that is movie editing. Right. So based on historical data of quality control checks, say what, have, you know, what are the situations where quality control checks have failed in the past? You know, uh, Netflix tries to identify how that might replicate in the future, say uh, situations where the syncing of subtitles have failed or there is a lag in the sound or the video uh, in the movie production and so on right so these checks are also very uh, very beneficial otherwise they would lead to probably requiring a rework or a manual check which is again very very time consuming and demands a lot of effort from the staff as well okay. coming on to the next use case is the streaming quality so based on the viewers uh, you know, the time during which there is a high demand for uh, watching Netflix, predicting the bandwidth usage actually helps Netflix to identify when they need the servers during the peak time. What is the peak time for a particular region? And then they could plan this, uh, you know, caching the regional servers for fast, faster download times and so on respectively. So these are few scenarios where Netflix is actually using data science and AI extensively. And these use cases have actually made a very, very high impact. They have actually taken Netflix to where it is in the current scenario. And this is only going to, uh, you know, increase with time as more and more uh, organizations also start using AI solutions. But 
one thing that we need to be very careful about is that these use cases which we are now probably uh, you know talking about uh, you know taking this as standard was not where it is today right so there was somebody in netflix or some group in netflix who could properly connect you know ai solutions to the netflix core business right so basically until and unless you have a business problem or you have a business need there is no way that you can just implement an ai solution for the sake of it right so whenever uh, we want to implement an ai solution the first and foremost thing that we need to take into consideration is is there a business problem that we need to solve so that is what is a product perspective right so say uh, you know you are uh, very very enthusiastic about using uh, data science or ml for you know for some purpose in your organization but if you do not have a problem if you do not have a business need what you would end up doing is you would be using up a lot of valuable resources say technical resources time effort money and all of it with no actual business impact the first thing that you should have in mind is what is the business result we are trying to achieve with ai or ml is this the core business need that needs to be satisfied and if it is so what is the data that we have what do we need to do what do like you know what do we need to do to process this data and what is the manner in which we need to process it so that it does have a business impact right people will not go and implement an ml solution just because it's an interesting technology to learn or to pursue right we need to link it to a business problem now say for example somebody who is uh, you know very technically sound or into ml and ai that person might just come up and say you know it would be uh, really really cool if we could analyze or debate on a particular say episode on netflix and you know this debate could be done using voice interactions right we could take uh, voice inputs from so many users who are actually watching the episode or have certain things to say about the episode basically say some reaction to that episode and what netflix could do is respond intelligently to those comments right similar to what a chatbot does you you know you put in your comments and it replies back like a two way back and forth dialogue now if this is actually done this could be a really really interesting use case because this would leverage natural language processing this would leverage text to voice commands or vice versa say voice to text or something like that and there would be you know implementation of sentiment analysis to basically gauge what the user is trying to portray through you know his or her sentiments like you know it would be a debate kind of a thing so this would be in fact a very very beautiful merging of you know multiple technologies in just one use case scenario and it sounds really great and really beautiful but the main thing over here is does it relate to netflix main idea about keeping users subscribed to the platform right if it is helping you solve the problem right how much budget would this need how much effort would this need is there probably a simpler version of this solution which would or which could be done in a less complex way and could achieve a similar kind of an output say for example instead of going for a you know voice to text kind of a thing you might achieve a similar say 80% of you know what you were trying to achieve only using text right that would reduce the complexity a lot right and it could and it could actually affect user engagement and say it you achieve say 80% of your intended user engagement by uh, you know only 40% of the effort 
wouldn't it be more beneficial or wouldn't it be a better alternative to what you were suggesting earlier right if it's having the same kind of business impact right so these are some of the questions that needs to be answered from a product perspective without uh, before jumping into you know a uh, technology or without getting blown away by what ai and ml can achieve for your business right because ultimately the business need is what should drive your technological innovations and not the other way around right so the most effective way to adopt ai in the way netflix did and you know boosted its business is from a business driven or a product perspective first right so that is all that i have for today thank you so much